Hey, welcome to the palace where the gates are always open. This is Star Wars Sense, episode two of Obi Wan Kenobi on Disney Plus. Spoiler recap review episode. So, if you haven't seen the episode yet on Disney Plus, I don't know what you're doing. Go watch it now and then watch our review recap and let us know what you thought. So, this is Jerry, aka John Kest of the Star Wars lore. We got Palace Gloop Shito, Shato, however you want to say it. Over here to our left, aka B Zippo. And then down below, we got the droid himself, <laughs> BAB. Glup Shito in the cut. Let's go. I think Glup is related to Jabba somewhere. Something like that. Anyways, I know he's a he's a, a mercenary too. So let's talk about it. Uh, we're in the planet. Uh, we we left off episode one, right? Uh, where Obi-Wan gets uh, contacted by uh, Bail Organa. So now he's on the lookout for Leia, right? We end up, you know, he he ends up finding, I don't know, I don't recall how did he get the signal that he's got to go to this new planet called Dayu. That's a neon-esque Coruscant type of planet uh, where he lands. And Babs, tell us a little bit about how did Obi-Wan get there and then how it starts off. Well, he gets there just on a transport, and then he he's just trying to figure out, like, where the kid could possibly be, and then he runs into that kind of falsified or whatever, like, Jedi, the guy that's acting like a Jedi with the magnets, right? And the kid, like, lures him in over there. Yeah, yeah. Played by Camille. Picks up some spice from... Yeah, yeah, picks up some spice from an unfortunate... uh, unfortunate uh, story for that one uh, spice spice dealer but uh yeah so he gets some of that and then he actually ends up using that later so to to free what do you mean uh, you leia like, so. tell me about the spice what are you talking about he uses the spice to free leia later you're talking about the the when he sparks it in front of the the gang yeah that's spice yeah. bro like one of the the drug in Star Wars, man. Yeah, that's why they're all tripped out. They're, that's they're all blasted when when the Inquisitor gets there. Spice that they mined in uh, with the in in Boba Fett with the uh, with the Pikes, same spice. Well, not mine, but the transported stuff, same yeah. stuff. Yeah, this okay. is a different variant. This is uh, it's like red stuff, but similar. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yes, so exactly. he he finds where the gang is holding Leia mm-hmm. right through. A little bit of the guidance of, uh, well, of, uh, well, he gets guided through that, you know, that Kamel fake Jedi, right? But he gets Leia, but it's just a trap, right? It's to, to quote our boy Admiral Akbar, right? It was just a lure to, to, to access Obi Wan, right? And as as he gets Leia and then gets introduced to her, and we get to see them, you know, talk for the first time, um, Reva is that was her goal, right? To go to then hunt him down. Well, I guess Grand Inquisitor wasn't having any of that, right? So fifth brother and Reva are over there. Grand Inquisitor gets the tip. He tells Reva to step back, and he want he and, but she doesn't care. She wants to the the claim to the the throne of the Grand Inquisitor title, right? Yeah. So she don't care about the Grand himself or the fifth or anybody who's next in line, as it would so be, right? So she she wants to go straight to Vader and she wants to take Kenobi, right? Well, we see her on the um, building top, city tops, trying to see where she can scout Obi Wan. Well, right? yeah, she has the alert out too. She put out the yeah, bounty yeah, as she well. She put out a bounty, right? Yeah, exactly. We see this really cool bounty hunter. Maybe I can cut it in the frame. Um, that is gets the alert that we see and get his gun. Did you see it? It was like a Velociraptor headed bounty hunter dude it was sick i looked at it i had to rewind it i was like oh damn because it was like we've seen bossed right now bossed is like a reptilian headed race right but this one went up to him bro this one looked badass he obviously later got shot and he fell now i don't know if he's dead i want to see more of him i don't did you remember what i'm talking about yeah i do yeah that was sick anyways he goes and tries to shoot Tell tell everybody what happens with your girl Leia and, and what trans what transpires because Leia doesn't believe that that Obi Wan is a Jedi and is there to save her and you question it that's why she ran off again so tell tell the fam what what, what happened so 
Leia doesn't like believe that Obi Wan's a Jedi, and and then she starts obviously questioning everything, and she it, it's a little bit corny, but whatever. But she runs off, and yeah, it causes the whole thing. So, yep. And then Obi Wan has to chase her, and then he has to prove his Force powers, and that's the only part that was really bothersome to me. They should have done that in a way better fashion. But I mean, a good episode, and again, I'm not gonna over criticize. So, whatever. yeah. And we'll talk about, uh, there's another right before that scene, um, or maybe it was right after and in between, that we did see um, a cameo appearance by Tamora Morrison, who plays the clone trooper, asking for spare change. That was really cool, right? That was the that first was time, earlier that, was the first time that he was in, a, in, in the armor, though. I read that today, this morning. He was the first time he was in the armor for any of the, uh, the time he, he filmed the Star Wars, outside of the Django the fat yeah, but that was the first time it was in clone armor what'd you think of that that was pretty cool right with the yeah beard. it is cool mm-hmm. yeah so really cool i know uh we lost bz in uh in a second here but i know he's a big boomer fat fan so i know he really i think that probably was one of his favorite parts but we see the grand inquisitor over there then questioning flea because flea was a part of the gang that captured that that essentially was the ones who answered Reva's call, who did what mm-hmm. Reva said. And yeah. you hear a big old scream when he's twirling that lightsaber. What do you call that lightsaber that's got the dual tw- twist action? What do you, you had a name for it? Well, it's just an Inquisitor saber is what it is. But it, do it's... they all spin? Do they all yes. of them? Every yep. single one of them? Okay. Mm-hmm. So he does the spin action, and then he essentially is severing his head or something. Because you hear that. He, he pushed. That was sick. Cool to see. He just chopped them up, dude. Oof. Yeah, so we don't see it, but cool to hear. Anyways, we're we're back on the rooftop, and then, um, you know, the, he gets tipped off by Camille Nunjiani's fake Jedi character. Says, "I want to help you, um, so at least I can do." And he tells him where to go to uh, tran- another transporter, right? And he gives him a code or a location that where to go, right? A little a little card or whatever. And, and he so says, he if, if I would have known you were a Jedi, I, I would have helped you right away, right? Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, something like that. So even though he was not a real Jedi, he knows he knew the Jedi and knew mm-hmm. people, right, that were Force-sensitive. So anyhow, all these, that was cool. He kind of redeemed himself sort of there. Um, and it was trying to delay Reva, and she saw right through him because she's Force-sensitive, as you saw him put him to the wall um, and do all that. That was how, really cool. That's how she found out where Obi-Wan was going, and then yeah. she tracked him down. And then, yeah, they had their whole – their whole skirmish after uh, after the Grand Inquisitor gets killed, right? So well, the Grand Inquisitor doesn't get killed, right? Necessarily. So what happens is Reva, gets, right, is after Obi Wan. Well, you. here's what happens. Reva's after Obi Wan. Re- Obi Wan says to Leia, "Just go up there, climb up there. I'll meet you there." Then he's hiding behind those those you know uh, containers or whatever, um, and then Reva's seek, well, seeking out. But then before he catches them, Reva's uh, Grand Inquisitor says. Rev, uh, Reva, stop it. You're going to let him go. And she says, he's right here. Yeah, I will he handle does. him. I know, but I, she says, I will handle him. But he, there's still an interaction there. Then then all he does is then she puts the lightsaber through him inside yeah. through his stomach, right? And he, he mm-hmm. essentially falls down. We think he's dead. His eyes are wide open. He's dead, I, don't dude. He's dead. I don't think he's dead. Now, he's dead, dude. He's I don't think he's dead. Because five, this takes place. Ten years after Revenge of the Sith, five years before the Re- Star Wars Rebels, and he is in the Star Wars Rebels. Um, this episode. takes place five years before Rebels. Yes, five years before the finale of Star Wars Rebels, dude. Look it up. So he's alive in there, and that's all continuity. We already know, right? And this is this isn't spoiler. Well, I guess I guess if it was a stomach wound, then yeah, I guess he could have maybe survived. Yeah, put him in but... a lot of back the water and back the tanking. Okay, I mean we see it. So I don't think he's dead. Now he might be mutated. It could be some other thing. But he obviously has pretty much full form in Star Wars Rebels, and we've seen mm-hmm. people that get their limbs off completely all the way around. We get people that you know their legs, their under bottoms are off. So it's Star Wars. He ain't dead. He'll be back in almost okay. in full form and fashion. That's my 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 prediction though. We'll see what happens. We'll see if Reva is a Je- was originally a Jedi. All of these things will be discovered, right? Well, Grand Inquisitor essentially gets killed by Reva because she wants Obi Wan. She tries to chase Obi Wan, and then he flees because he escapes when that is, transpires. 
That's the end of our episode. And then we get the final the final little thing at the end is the Vader teaser, right? We see Anakin the, connecting well, through after well, after she tells Obi Wan yeah, that, that Anakin's still alive. They connect through point. the force. The big sees, reveal the reveal in the episode was right before Anakin. he ran off. Yeah, the reveal was Anakin breathing he, in the back to tank. Yeah, yeah. Anakin's still alive. He's not dead. You don't know, do you? And then his he goes, you know, he, he stops, he's shocked. And that was awesome. Just watching that mm-hmm. that scene play out which i saw a few times well uh it was great it was great because we never saw that um we just know fast forward in the new hope episode four that he knows he's vader and everything you know happens as it does so really cool um way to show the episode i like the setting i like the uh you know the, the back and forth obviously some minor points everything's going to be criticized in these but overall really cool i think second episode to the beginning of the show Episode three is the next one. You catch us on the next video. Watch our first one if you haven't seen it. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Yeah, we we want to know what you guys thought in the in the comment of this video. Tell us what you liked about it. What you didn't like. Join our Discord, baby. Like, subscribe. Road to two hundred. Yeah, road to two hundred, dude. We're we're only twenty or less away, so let's get get us there. We want to hear about you guys. Thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.